22 seconds. We have a seconds. green board here in the Mission Director Center. T minus seconds. 15 seconds. 13 seconds. Green board. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Engine, engine start, 1, 0, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. Burning our engine chamber pressures are building. Groundless solid motors are building in chamber pressure. Increasing at this time. Pressure's looking good. One second into the flight. Recovering from the initial launch transients. Passing 34 seconds. Mach 1, vehicle's now going supersonic. The motor uh, chamber pressure is uh, beginning to trail off as we're passing 45 seconds. Engine uh, chamber pressure, good steady state value. Symmetrical burn on the uh, groundlet solids. Coming up 55 seconds. And we have a sequencer on channel one. Sequencer. Standing by for burnout. Give me a lift Burning out of the solids. Four nine. And for separation. Seven decimal four separation. And we have ignition of the airlit solid motors. Airlit solid motors building in chamber pressure. minute, 22 seconds into the flight. Delta II vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch a minute and 28 seconds ago, losing propellant at the rate of about 2,200 pounds per second. A minute, 35 seconds. Altitude now 15.4 nautical miles. Downrange distance 35.6 nautical miles. Velocity 3,393 miles per hour. A minute, 48 seconds. Airlet motor chamber pressure is beginning to drop. Only about uh, 10 seconds more before we burn out those airlet solids. Anyway, for SEP, and we have separation. Airlet solids have separated. Seconds into the flight. Altitude now 31.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 79.5 nautical miles. Velocity 5,398 miles per hour. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Main engine chamber pressure is still very steady. Vernier engine chamber pressure is still very steady, right in the expected range. Engine uh, transients are settling down now as we're approaching the three-minute mark. Mark, three minutes into the flight. Altitude now 43.5 nautical miles. Downrange distance 134.6 nautical miles. Velocity 6,980 miles per hour. Minimal steering now on the uh, main engine pitch and yaw and on the verniers. Now passing three minutes and 27 seconds into the flight, less than one minute until main engine cutoff. Altitude now 53 nautical miles, downrange distance 197.5 nautical miles, velocity 8,962 miles per hour. minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. The main engine and vernier engine steering as we're passing four minutes, 27 seconds now until main engine cutoff. Altitude now passing 62 nautical miles, about 10 seconds until main engine cutoff. Chamber pressure beginning to decrease. We have Miko, main engine is cut off. Hang by for one, two, sep.
And we have ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure is beginning to build. Turning jettison time on time. Good steady state engine chamber pressure on the second stage. Looking at second stage engine steering. It's, uh, rec they're recovering from the initial transients. Looking good. Five minutes, 30 seconds in the flight. About one minute into this second stage burn. Second stage burn uh, is to last about uh, five minutes and 20 seconds or so, so we have about four minutes to go. Chamber pressure is very steady in the second stage. Pitch and yaw control in the second stage, very good. Passing six minutes, six seconds into the flight. Altitude now 89.8 .8 nautical miles. Downrange distance 641 nautical miles. Velocity 13,834 miles per hour. comparison of our expected times and our uh, predicted times and our actual times of uh, major mission events are all uh, within a second of the expected times. Passing uh, 6 minutes 47 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 95.4 nautical miles. Downrange distance 778 nautical miles. Velocity 14,271 miles per hour. Passing 7 minutes. Chamber pressure is exactly where we want it to be in the second stage. Very good chamber pressure, holding rock solid. We're now on data from Antigua Island. Engine your control in the second stage, continuing to look good as we're approaching uh, 7 minutes 30 seconds. Seven minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 99.9 .9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 955 nautical miles. Velocity 14,899 miles per hour. Now passing eight minutes into the flight. About two minutes until SECO. That'll be the completion of the first uh, burn of the evening of the second stage. Passing 8 minutes, 30 seconds into the flight, altitude 102.2 nautical miles, downrange distance 1131 nautical miles, velocity now at 15,567 miles per hour. Looking at our second stage chamber pressure again, continuing to look very, very solid, very little uh, steering in pitch and yaw. Now passing nine minutes, nine minutes and altitude now 103 nautical miles, downrange distance 1240 nautical miles and velocity 15,994 miles per hour. Less than one minute remains until uh, SECO 1. Continuing to look good. Altitude, altitude now 103.5 nautical, 65 nautical miles. Velocity 16,518 miles per hour. Chamber pressure beginning to drop now in the second stage. 
as we're about uh, 15 seconds or so from SECO. Ten seconds. Anybody for SECO? And we have SECO. All its system pressure has decreased. And we've had a shutdown of the command receiver decoders. Expected. That we expect to be uh, losing signal from Antigua very shortly as the vehicle will be going over the horizon. Eleven minutes, thirty-seven seconds into the flight, altitude one hundred and four point eight nautical miles, downrange distance eighteen hundred and fifty-seven nautical miles, velocity sixteen thousand nine hundred and forty-seven miles per hour. This is Delta Flight Commentary at 12 minutes 5 seconds into the flight that we've uh, just uh, lost acquisition of signal from the Antigua ground station as expected. Uh, we expect to reacquire the vehicle from Dongara, Australia tracking station in about uh, 39 and a half minutes. So at uh, 12 minutes, 24 seconds into the flight, this is Delta Flight Commentary. We'll uh, pick up uh, with the commentary a few minutes before we expect to reacquire the signal. Uh, signal is expected to be reacquired about uh, 51 minutes or so after, uh, after launch, which would be about uh, 38 minutes or so from now. This is Delta II flight commentary. And this is Delta Launch Control in the Mission Director's Center, where the team is uh, quite satisfied with the data that they have been watching and listening to during the ascent of the Delta II. We're now in a fairly quiescent phase as the second stage with Kepler and the third stage attached simply cruises along about a hundred nautical miles above the Earth. The total duration of the cruise phase is about 43 minutes and as we heard our telemetry manager Steve Agate say our um, coverage from the Dungara tracking station will come at about 51 minutes into the flight and uh, shortly after that about four minutes four and a half minutes later the Tennant Creek tracking station in Australia will acquire we'll get most of the Second stage restart data from Dongara, and then the third stage ignition and spacecraft separation will come through Tennant Creek. Tennant Creek is a station in the uh, Australian outback, absolutely out in the middle of nowhere, but absolutely critically located for the events that we need to see on the Delta Third stage and for spacecraft separation tonight. In just a moment, we'll be going into our launch replays of our liftoff of the Delta II with Kepler. At 14 minutes, 
45 seconds into the flight of Kepler on the Delta II, this is Delta Launch Control.